to my channel. I hope you're all well. It's very quiet this morning. Tegan's asleep. It's about 10 o'clock and I'm going to wake her up when I've done my video. But she didn't sleep very well last night because it was so hot. So I poked my head around the door a little while ago and she's absolutely crashed out. So I thought I'd leave her a little bit longer and then I'll go and give her a shout. It's baking hot. The um, thermometer in the living room is saying 24 degrees already. And that's with the door open, the fan going, <coughs> excuse me, and um, the window open. So we shall see. We've got the traffic and the TV uh, fighting for attention in the living room. So I've come in here out of the way. <laughs> it's more quiet and peaceful. So I've got Narnia with me. And she is part of my um, Reva Schick family. So they are like uh, a little collection in, inside my collection, if you see uh, what I mean. Um, um, I forgot a name, then. Ava, Seren, Narnia and Reuben are all um, Reva Schick babies. And they're all the same baby, but different ages. And uh, my mum had the collection. And the last seven years, I have wanted to build the collection. And I've done that slowly. And finally, recently, I made Narnia and completed it. Um, Reuben I didn't make, but the other three, uh, Seren was mum's. Uh, she made her. Um, uh, but I did um, repaint her a little bit because I changed her hair colour from blonde to brown. So she needed a warmer colour. So she's a mixture of mine and mum's painting. And she must be about 10 years old now. Um, if anybody knows when the Ariana sculpt very first came out, the first prototype, which Tinkerbell did, uh, Helen Jalland, I'd really appreciate it because we're forever trying to work out how long ago it was that Mum bought the kit and she bought it as soon as it came out. Um, because I keep saying to Tegan, she must be easily as old as you because I'm sure I can remember her when you were, were a tiny baby, probably maybe even before then, I'm not really sure. Um, but um, yeah, she was mum's, and then Reuben is uh, mine and mum's dream baby, really, because we, we used to make our own babies, uh, um, but um, and we used to enjoy it, we used to enjoy the hobby together. Um, a lot of you already know this, but I've, it's for new subscribers, really, just in case you don't know. Um, and Reuben, we always used to look at um, um, uh, Helen, uh, not Helen Jalland, um, Wonder Monroe's babies. Uh, from Bush and the Peck Nursery and one day I saw, one of Noah's first came out, I saw one of her babies on eBay and I fell in love with it. But at the time, you're going back, you know, a long time now, and at the time, spending about five, six hundred pounds, maybe a bit more for a reborn doll seemed an awful lot of money in those days. Um, it's only in the last five years and especially the last three years even maybe that the prices have really shot to the astronomical levels they are now where the um it's it's it's, it's a mixture of things it's business it's uh, the name that you're paying for it's the artistry you're paying for there's a whole uh, mixture of things but um he was a dream baby and we always used to say oh you know one day win the lottery like we all say um win the lottery and we'll buy one of those and uh, we'll have one each and like a bit of a joke really and then after mum died i decided that i'd have one and i did and I, I wish I'd got him sooner because the painting is amazing, absolutely amazing. And the rooting as well, it's phenomenal. Um, so he is like very special in the nursery. Even though Tristan is my absolute favourite overall, um, uh, I've got my collection down now from 14 to, apart from one, um, to my, like my dream collection, my core collection. So I'm going to leave it like that for a while because that takes it down to nine babies, I think. And that's plenty enough for anybody. <laughs> because before, when there was 14, it was like Babyville here. There was babies everywhere and we only live in a small flat. So there's no room for anything. The, the craft room was fighting for space between babies and, and craft um, things <laughs> and craft storage and, you know, all the things you collect for that. But um, today I thought I'd change Narnia. Um, I put this T-shirt on her yesterday because it was warm and I put the pants off a dress set with it um, because I thought they looked gorgeous. And um, the top is from Tiny Angels Boutique. Uh, it's a pre-loved um, shop. Um, nothing wrong with um, pre-loved. 
second hand, anything like that, as long as it's in good condition. Um, we're recycling, it's good for the planet. Um, it's There's lots of pluses to it. And at the same time, there's nothing wrong with splurging out every now and again and buying a lovely designer uh, costume, a costume outfit that you know is going to be beautifully made and it's something you're going to keep for a long time. And, and you know, whereas the other clothes will go on rotation, won't they? So there's nothing wrong with anything from... Um, the you know this the basics at the bottom of second hand um it's brilliant we can all pass our clothes around we can swap clothes with each other i've done that with friends before um and also then sometimes every now and again or when we want to we can splurge out on um settling designerish and fancy can't we and it's lovely and also of course there's um handmade so this is brings me around nicely to nanya because nanya is wearing the pants of a dress set that i made for her and this is one of my favourite dress sets, and you would have seen it before. But I was looking at her in the pants this morning, and I was thinking, oh, I still want to put that dress on you now. So I got it out of the wardrobe, and I did. So she's wearing um, the purple pants with the big white polka dots and a little bow on the front. It looks pretty, but it also lets me know, without too much fuss and having to look, which is the back and the front, to be honest. And then there's this bonnet that goes with it. Let's see what you can see. It's a lovely old fashioned type bonnet. Um, I heard somebody call these Dutch bonnets once. It's like a 1950s style. And it's just really cute. I really like these. Um, you can actually alter that and sew up the sides and, and um, you know, you don't have to have the gap, but I quite like it. And you can also put buttons uh, or poppers there so you can alter the size if you want to. But uh, I tend to make for the baby that I, you know, that I've set my mind on to make it for, and um, make it to fit them. So that's that, and I've got the contrast of the um, lilac and white polka dot with the floral, and it's oh, it's lilac inside, <laughs> just so you can see. And then the dress that goes with that is this lovely um, dress, the same fabrics obviously, and it's got. Um, the uh, lilac as the contrast again uh, and I just think it's adorable this set I really want to make some more of these I did have plans to um, make a load of these dress sets this summer and uh, maybe put some on eBay as well um, oh I just found a crib I just walked into it Hubby <laughs> um, <laughs> says I could hurt myself in the buttons on a padded cell I am so clumsy I took my spatial awareness it is like zilch uh, yeah so um, and yeah, I was thinking of doing that, but then the summer's like come and is going now, and um, it's just been busy, and there's been lots going on. Uh, me and hubby had a lot of health things going on, and hubby's is still going on now. And we've had Tegan for about six weeks now, and she won't go back for about another two or three. So just so she's ready in time for school. Yeah, let's put this on you, on you, sweet girl. Her um, hair came today, and um, so that I can. Um, finish the back of her head um, I had to wait a long time for it to come into stock but I didn't want to use an alternative I'd rather wait and then I just popped her head on for now because I didn't want to sit in there for it I didn't know you don't know with Covid how long you'd be waiting so I thought if I just put um, a little bit of filling in her head oh look at you and then I'll just put it on her head on her body temporarily and then as soon as we can get organised and see what happens, because none of us knew, did they? We had no idea what was going to happen. And uh, I had to shield for months because of uh, being on the extremely vulnerable list. Um, and I have to say that um, the food boxes are rubbish that the government gives you. You have frozen bread that's already defrosting on the doorstep, so you can't do anything with it. Um, and everything is like really basic and you can't do anything with it um, it is the cheapest things that they can possibly find it feels like and tastes like um, they said for me because I'm lactose intolerant that they would do vegetarian <laughs> like a vegetarian doesn't have dairy and that kind of thing so it came and it had um, you know, you have to notice it's vegetarian, <laughs> so it still had dairy, it still had the UHT, <coughs> excuse me, UHT milk, and things like a tin of meatballs, and a tin of tuna, 
<laughs> uh, and that's the vegetarian box. <laughs> uh, so uh, there you go. And you could have like a tiny packet of coffee and a few tea bags. I don't even drink tea. Uh, and a few tea bags, but there's no sugar or anything like that because uh, we wouldn't want you to be sport now, would we? While you're staying indoors for five months to keep the uh, keep your cells safe and well, and also protect the hospitals and keep the uh, intensive care units uh, as clear as possible. But thankfully, for the moment at least, that's all over with now. So there she goes. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, the thing I like about the handmade as well is you can make it to suit the baby, can't you? You know, what, whatever you think and different colours and different styles. So she looks absolutely adorable. So um, while we're having a look at that little gorgeous piece of eye candy there, <laughs> bless her, um, I thought I'd do Gail's tag. So Gail from, um, that's uh, Lexi rooting around, you can hear probably, a little crinkle. She's looking for the dog treats that are hidden <laughs> the under the pram. <laughs> Um, over there somewhere. Um, I thought I'd do Gail from um, Susie Q's Happy Little Haven tag. So my apologies if I get it wrong, Gail, because I didn't write it down. I just got organised and came in the room while it was quiet. But um, Gail did a tag about um, your first reborn and how long have you had your reborn, you know, your, your initial reborn and that kind of a thing. So I thought, uh, I'm really making a hash of this, I do apologise, but I didn't write it down. I, I watched it and, and then I came in and thought, I'll do this while it's quiet and completely forgot to write down the title and everything. But I will put it underneath and I will try and remember to put it underneath because <laughs> that's another vein of mine not to put it underneath and then go back later and think oh bum I didn't put it underneath and then put it when everybody's looked <laughs> so um, I was trying to think I was sat there last night and I was trying to think and I was thinking I can remember um, getting the kit it was a Simply Reborn kit and initially my daughter was going to have a go at painting it for me Emma because she's Got, she's more artistic, she can do um, murals and things on the kids' walls in their bedrooms, that kind of thing. She did um, when Jade was tiny. Lexi, away from the tripod. Um, when Jade was tiny, in her nursery, she did like a big, a big um, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and that kind of thing, hand-painted around the walls. So I thought, to, I said to her, you know, if I get a kit, would you have a go at making one for me? It doesn't have to be fantastic. Lexi, move. Go on, sweetheart, away from the tripod. It doesn't have to be fantastic. I just want it to model the clothes on my shop on eBay. So she said, yeah, I'll have a go. So anyway, I had the kit and it was sat there for a week or so and I kept looking at it. And then I was intrigued then and I wanted to have a go at painting it, so I did. And I used it to model my clothes on my shop. Now, I did, I did think about trailing through photo bucket and trying to find like my oldest photos to see if I could find it. But I knew that that would take hours because photo bucket is so slow. But um, I really cannot remember the name of the kit. But I think it was something like Abigail. Or, or maybe we called it Abigail or something like that. But it was a Simply Reborn kit and it was totally different to the kits today. The vinyl was quite hard and it didn't have the detail because you're talking like the end of 2007, beginning of 2008, when it was really kicking off in this country, around at the time of the documentary went out, uh, about My Fake Babies. Uh, I think that went out in January 2008. So, um, or the end of 2007, I'm not really sure, but that's what kicked it all off in this country, really, and got everyone's interest going. Um, yeah, and I made this baby and then um, I used it for a while and then I sold it and I bought a better kit and I had, you know, my, my dolls for my shop. And then I built up like a small collection from then up until about 2015 or so. And then I made uh, some new babies and then I sold them when I closed my shop in about uh, 2018, but I did already have, um, no, 2017, 2018, I closed my shop uh, for health reasons, which was really sad actually, because I really enjoyed um, interacting with people and making the clothes and knitting and crocheting, and I used to sell other things as well. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. 
but um, then I, I sold off or gave away um, the dolls that I'd built up up to then, except for I had Sarah and then, and I had Madison, and then I built up this, like, this is what I count as, like, my second collection, because this collection was for um, the, the collecting... Uh, it was for collecting as a hobby rather than they're lovely and I dress them in something and put them around the place for display but most of the time I use them on my shop and I'm changing their clothes constantly and photographing them and using them you know for my sale photos and that kind of thing but the collection I've got now is like my proper collection if you like it's like my second collection it's the collection where um, these are all my hobby now and they're like my little family and I thoroughly enjoy um, having them but over the last few years um, they I sort of added more and more babies and looking at different sculpts because it was like starting all over again really and really getting into the hobby and I thoroughly enjoyed it um, and it is and always will be a fight over in my back bedroom my spare bedroom whether it's a craft room or a dolly room you know a nursery there's always going to be that tussle uh, I think it will end up as a nursery eventually with a small space that I can sit and craft I think you know I, I'm not really sure but uh, <laughs> it is going that way um, it is heading that way because the, the babies are taking over the babies and doing the videos and because I really enjoy it I really love it. I love uh, making the videos and chatting to everybody and um, you know I've made some lovely friends really close friends and um, try uh, as much as I can avoid all the dramas and the unnecessary things and you learn as you go around it's the same ones all the time so you just avoid it and the rest of the time there's some really really lovely people on here uh, who are really you know, down to earth and uh, no airs and graces no fancy um, no fancy pants, just normal people enjoying the hobby and that's what you want isn't it, just genuine friendly people um, to share the hobby with and I love it and the doll show, um, I've only been to two, I went to one in Bristol um, it, no actually Western Supermare it was um, because there used to be one there and then they stopped it because they started doing some races um, the first year they started they had a race, I've forgotten what it's called but it would go around the place where the doll show was held so they cancelled the doll show because it competed and it just wouldn't be practical and then they never brought it back again I think it was Dolls and Teddy's Fair or something like that but that was really good so I went to that and then um, it was disappointment then because it never came back and that's going back a long way that's going about 2010 that we, I went there um, and then now the um, the doll show comes down to Bristol now, which means that we can go up from Devon and uh, go to that. So we went last September was the first time because I think it started the year before and I didn't know about it. I'd missed it somewhere um, in all the dolly things and I actually saw posts on Facebook a day or so later and I'd missed, missed the show itself. So I went the following year and thoroughly enjoyed it and was going to go and took Tegan and then this year we were going to go back again but obviously we can't because of covid so next year hopefully we'll be able to go again and um I'll be taking tegan and also uh molly um uh, one of uh, tegan's friends um she's going to come with us as well and take her baby so i can see myself going around with my pram because i've got a pram now haven't i <laughs> um she's going around my pram poor hubby i don't know what he's going to do and uh, he'll just wander around, he's good, he picks up clothes and things like that, he's really good at that kind of thing. He, and he'll, as, while I'm busy getting, you know, eyes on stalks and looking at all the different things, he'll scan around and say, oh, there are these beautiful dresses over there like you were looking for, or there's something over there um, that you could make or that you would like to make, why don't you go and have a look, you know, that kind of thing, while I'm like, oh, look at that baby, oh, look at that kit, oh, can I get a new body for somebody, and all the, um, you know, hysteria of the excitement of, and the adrenaline of the doll show but I'm quite looking forward to that next year so um, the only thing I can say about it is hopefully it, it will happen and uh, I've got longer to save up haven't I <laughs> so that's really good um, so I can't really show you like a really old baby that I've had for a long time or anything like that um, uh, I've cut down my collection now uh, four babies have gone already um, I don't know what's happening with the tracking for the um, for Madison. I haven't checked it for half an hour or so. Um, but uh, this morning on the email, if you press the tracking, it it hasn't updated since it was collected yesterday. 
but then when you go on the site and you put the number in it's saying it's out for delivery so i'm really hoping it's out for delivery and it'll be with her she'll be with her new mum soon and hopefully in one piece after all that but um i am soon going to um put grace up for sale um i'm going to um, have a look i like to check her over obviously and um, all she's done since i've had her i bought the kit at the doll show uh, last year in september and she is adorable but all she does is lay in the pram she's so little and i never do anything with her the, the toddlers and the other babies take over so i've decided that um it's a bit of a waste of just being a pram ornament so i'm going to put her up for sale soon so when i when um i might do a details video and show you um i haven't tipped her nails that's what's bothering me i haven't tipped her nails and she's only weighted quite lightly because um i'm having to make my babies lighter now because of my arthritis um yeah, jameson is like I, I need a crane <laughs> i need one of those things you lift people and horses or whatever you can find around to put him on the bed these days when i get five minutes i'm going to um uh, take some of the weight out of him because he is really heavy um but apart from that the the babies that are left then will be like um the babies that i absolutely love that i really really wouldn't part with and they've all got meaning in some way because there'll be my Riva Schick family, which is four. And then there'll be Abby and um, Jameson, which is like the little mischievous two, isn't it? Even though um, Jameson and Chase are having a little bromance at the moment. And uh, Suzanne from Hello Dolly called it Jace. You know, they named the, 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 uh, these things now. And it's Jace. And I thought, oh, that was so funny. That I <laughs> it really tickled me, that did. And of course, Saren, she'll never go anywhere. And Ava, because she's part of the Rivership family. And then um, there's Tristan and Scarlett, who are brother and sister in real life. Uh, and, you know, th there's none of them that these are, uh, could possibly part with in, in any way. So the last one to go now will be Grace. So uh, as soon as she's ready, I'll do a little video just to show her, you who she is. And uh, because she's Romley by Cassie Brace. And I've got the certificate and everything, and I'll put it all up one day and do a little video, and then um, I would pop her on eBay and let you have the link just in case anyone's interested, um, you know, just to uh, let you see her and get the video. And and uh, I'm rambling now, so I'll go probably in a minute. <laughs> but you know, just to put her on, do the details, let you see her, and um, then I'm going to pop her on eBay and put her on there. So, um, and I think that. Um, I won't have an empty pram because I'll just put one of the other small babies in there and one of the other uh, the small babies in my uh, real pram and then we'll be sorted then the toddlers can probably sit on the bed in the daytime like they do now and Ava's got her own chair so we're all sorted we've got space but we've got beautiful babies at the same time so there's me rambling um, um, and it's probably gone completely off what I started talking about but um, I don't know, it feels really strange um, chatting away without Tegan around. Um, I thought I'd come on when it's quiet because I wanted to do the tag. And obviously, she's, you know, she uh, wouldn't know about the, the dolls in the past and that kind of thing. So I thought it's probably going to be boring for her. So I'll go and do it while it's quiet and before I wake her up. Um, so I didn't really do the tag justice, but um, uh, someone else do it as well. It'd be really fun to see everybody's first baby how long have you had the babies you know i'll put the proper link underneath uh, because i haven't done a very good job of it and maybe i'll chat about it again i uh you know another time but and show you um see if i can find some old photos and that kind of a thing um and show you properly but um it's a really good tagging and uh, gail made it up herself and i thought it was really clever because it's the sort of thing that we don't um, talk about and she shows her first baby and chats uh, beautifully as she does because I'm the one that messes up the talking aren't I <laughs> I always uh, trip over my words and lose my thread and that kind of a thing uh, and it is so hot this morning and it feels so weird doing it without Tegan but um, I hope you got the gist of it <laughs> so um, I shall let you know how Madison gets on if she gets to her mummy safely um, I don't know whether her mummy will want to um, put her on her channel or anything like that she does have a channel so i'll just leave it up to mummy 
and I am absolutely excited to know that she gets her safely. And also, I'm excited, really excited, excuse me, to know what her new name is going to be. So that will be really interesting because she's been Madison for a long time. And she was actually Kennedy before that. She was Kennedy for about six months. I really liked it. I hadn't heard it was a girl's name before. And I thought, oh, that's different. I like that. And I called her Kennedy. And then it lasted about six months and then I didn't like it anymore and I changed it. Because we can do that with these babies, can't we? We can change it to something different. So there you go. So uh, I shall stop rambling now. And, um, oh, just look at Narnia. Isn't she absolutely adorable? Really, really sweet in that dress. She looks nice in the blues and the lilacs, isn't she? Uh, and it's so feminine with the um, and traditional, isn't it, as well? With the flowers and, and the trim. Um, absolutely lovely. So bye for now, everybody. Uh, we shall be back soon. I think uh, I've got a nail appointment this afternoon, so I don't know whether we'll get to do uh, onesie Wednesday today. But um, we'll definitely be back for Theme Thursday tomorrow. And we look forward to seeing you. And uh, pop across the Tegan's channel and um, show us some support, please, because she, she is so excited and so nervous she's managed to get four videos up with a bit of support from nan and there will be more but um she's uh you know she's really excited about her channel but it's a lot for her to take on board at the moment and try and do videos with nan and nan finds it hard as well because <laughs> we started to work as a team over the last weeks and then when we're suddenly doing separate videos it feels really strange um, it feels really strange like, to do two theme Thursdays and this sort of thing. But at the same time, we didn't want to repeat it for um, our friends who want to watch both channels or pop along to see Tegan as well. But um, we will be adding more soon, more pram walks. We've already decided on where we're going to go for some pram walks. Uh, places that are beautiful, like the Avon Dam. Um, I want to show the beach more, try and get some more uh, filming down there. And um, Tegan is really into role play, which is right really for her age, isn't it? So she gets Nanny into that a little bit. We did a tiny bit the other day. It was on the spur of the moment, really, like a practice. I put it down on the video, and it was really, it was like a little practice and try it out. And it was fun. It was fun, like, you know, bringing out your inner child. And it was, all these times are precious with Tegan, obviously. But um, I tell you what, it's hard work setting up the scene, moving things out of the way, getting it all right, putting the babies right, getting the camera angles right, and, and all the rest of it. It's hard work. So everybody that um, does these beautifully detailed, um, creative videos, uh, like Holly Church does great fun videos, and they've, they've got a lot of detail that you could miss, actually, when she's chatting away. Uh, her, her, um, her channel is always happy and cheerful and brightens my day joy at pe and the divinals um she does amazing um slideshow type videos and she's so creative the way she puts the babies out makes a little story and all their fantastic names and beautiful uh beautiful babies um you know beautiful hair routine and cl oh lovely it's really proper eye candy that is i love uh, all those videos and then um, you know, there's lots of, uh, I could go on forever, but I won't bore you with it. But there's so many um, creative geniuses out there. And then you've got me then who <laughs> comes on with the babies at the end of the bed and can't get a word right. <laughs> so I do feel for you. <laughs> uh, but um, anyway, I'm off now. I'm going to edit this. I should probably uh, feel strange listening to myself talk and talking back while I'm editing and uh, no TV around. But um, she'll be back. She'll be back tomorrow. And I should be off this afternoon um, enjoying a coffee and a gossip and getting my nails done. And my granddaughter Tegan said, and uh, my granddaughter Evie, sorry, on Sunday said that I should have pink. So I shall have pink nails today because Evie chose them. And she said Nanny needs to have pink this time. So they will be pink. And I shall be back tomorrow. So bye for now. Take care, everyone. Lots of love. Look after yourselves and each other. Bye.